Matthew, is there anything, any other candidate, the contenders for the Republican primary battle, is there anything they could do or, or say to change what is clearly all of the oxygen in the room? Um, no, and that's why I think the people most should be most upset about this are people like Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis, because any opportunity they had to sort of close the gap, which is huge between them and Donald Trump heading into Iowa, New Hampshire, and South Carolina, is dissipating very, very fast. This, and I said this right after the ruling, this is only going to solidify his support, as mentioned before about his grievances and all that. It's only going to solidify his support among Republicans. And I actually fear, unless the court steps in quickly, and I would hope somewhat unanimously, and makes a decision either confirming the decision in Colorado or throwing out the decision in Colorado, which I hope happens quickly, and I, as I said, in a nonpartisan way so people can't use that, then that decision to fight over that. Donald Trump, this is his, this is his, this is like a softball over, over, uh, over the plate that he is just going to knock out among Republican primary voters, and you're seeing the candidate's reaction. I thought the only one that had probably the best reaction of it of this was Chris Christie when he said we shouldn't defeat Donald Trump by taking him off the ballot. We should defeat Donald Trump because he's not fit to hold office. That's what we should do. I thought that was the best reaction in this. But all the candidates now are riding in Trump's wake, and this is only going to help him even more solidify the GOP nomination.